or a life ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Thank you for listening to the, the show today. We are going to be reading Psalms 1, and we are going to be getting into a, a psalm or a proverb every day to encourage you uh, to be in the Word and listen to the Word on a regular basis. So right now we're reading Psalms 1. And if you want to open up your Bibles and, uh, you know, we need to do as, as believers six things on a regular basis. And that is to pray, praise, proclaim, read and repent and submit. These are the essential things we must be doing as believers. And uh, so we're reading the word right now and, and, and praising him. Hallelujah. So uh, it says in, in Psalms 1, blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the wicked. So uh, so. The Bible basically talks about, it's a book of opposites. It's good versus evil, life versus death, and blesses versus curses. And we're saved through the blood of Messiah, uh, Yeshua, the one they call Jesus. However, uh, there's there's a whole nother part of it that's uh, the blessings versus the curses. So, uh, you know, if you want to be blessed in scripture, obedience is the, the, the answer to your blessings. And if you want to be cursed and have curses upon you, uh, you be disobedient. And if you truly have a heart to follow Yeshua, to follow the way that he said to live, your your ideal, your goal, and your desire should be to be obedient to his word. So it starts off in the first psalm, and these psalms are, are just filled with, with, with joy and singing and wisdom of, of our creator. It says, blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the wicked. Uh, And he has not stood in the way of the sinners and has not sat in the seat of scorners. So uh, blessed is the man that is not listening to the wicked. So who's the man that's cursed? The one that is listening to the wicked. The one that is following the wicked's ways. The sinners that are following the sinners are the ones that are cursed. The ones that are blessed are the ones that are, are, are following righteous people. Are following people that have a desire to keep our creator's words. So blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the wicked and has not stood in the way of scorners uh, or sinners and has not sat in the seat of scorners. And then it goes in verse two, but he delights only in the Torah of Yahweh and he meditates in his Torah day and night. So his delight, this is, this is what brings him joy is to study the word of our creator. And it's the only thing It says the only thing in the Torah of our, the instructions of our creator is is this man taking delight in, uh, and he meditates on it in his Torah day and night. So he's consistently thinking something he, that that he, he delights in. And, and you talk about joy and that's the key to joy right there is, is to meditating and doing something that you, you delight in. And when you delight in our creator's guidelines and instructions and you do it and you follow it. Wow. Wow. The joy that comes along with that. That is just so wonderful. So it says, uh, bl- uh, but he delights in uh, only in the Torah of Yahweh and he meditates on his word, his instructions, his guidelines day and night. And it says uh, in verse three, and he shall be like a tree planted by the riverbanks of water, uh, which uh, which will give its fruit in its seasons and its leaf will not wither. And all which he does will prosper. So not only is this man blessed, because you have all throughout the Psalms and Proverbs and all throughout Scripture, uh, people being rewarded and blessed for their obedience and cursed for their disobedience, where our Creator even says directly, those that choose not to listen to me, I will not listen to them, and I will bring evil upon them. Who will he bring up evil upon? Those that make a practice of living in sin. There's only one perfect one, and that is Yeshua, the one they call Jesus. You know what? We could be perfect in our desire to follow him, in our delight to study his word. And that's what our creator is looking for. And that's where the mercy and the grace comes in. But those that are trying to do the best they can do and knowing what the word says, not those that make an excuse to keep living in sin. It says in verse three again, it says uh, that that tree will not wither in all the seasons. It says all which he does will process uh, will, 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 will prosper. Now, I want you to take a, a marker, a highlighter, underliner. I want you to underline and highlight that word, all. It doesn't say some of the things will do will prosper. It says all of the things 
he will prosper in. And, 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 and what is the reward? Why is this man uh, being uh, prosper, going to prosper in all things? Just like our creator says in the book of Deuteronomy and all throughout the scriptures, if you listen to my word and follow it, all will be well with you. Not some, all will be well with you. And so it says that the man that delights in the instructions of our creator and he studies it, he thinks about it day and night, all will be well with him. Verse four, not so are the wicked, but they are only a shaft which the wind drives about. The wicked are the ones that are thinking about sin. The wicked are the ones that are thinking about uh, about uh, not the word. They're thinking about how they can make excuses to, to live against the word. The wicked are the ones of the people of the world. The wicked are the one on a wide path, not the one on that narrow path that leads to the narrow gate, which is Yeshua. So it says, uh, not so are the wicked, but they are only a shaft which the wind drives about. They have no foundation, folks. They're weak. They have no foundation. And, and, and a little wind, something comes rough to their feathers and they just, they're out of there. Uh, and verse five, on account of this, the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, nor sin is in the congregation of the righteous. You become like the people you hang around, folks. And, and, and it says here, blessed is the man that has not walked in the counsel of the wicked, because the wicked will have no congregation of the righteous, no place in the congregation of the righteous. Who do you surround yourself with? Who is your core people? Who? What, what are you meditating on day and night? This is such a, a short psalm, but so imperative to understand about the foundation of all scripture, the instructions and the guidelines of our creator that Yeshua the Messiah pointed us to and told us, this is how you should live. This is the will for you. This is what you must do. So on account, the wicked shall not stand in a judgment nor sin is in a congregation of the righteous. Again, you're either a good or evil, righteous or unrighteous. You're either a sinner or you're, 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 you're an obedient uh, saint. And it goes on to say, for Yahweh is knowing all the way of the righteous. He knows all the way of the righteous and the way of the wicked shall perish. So, so our creator knows all things, all. I mean, this whole scripture be about all. It, it, there's no... Uh, uh, you know, mis misunderstanding this. It's talking about everything. It covers everything. You're either righteous or you're not righteous. And, 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 and what is not righteous? Well, right, righteous is doing things that are right according to our creator's words. That's what righteousness is. That is found in the first five books of the Bible, often mistaken called the law, but known as the Torah. And that is the foundation of all scripture. That is what righteousness is. And then we look at the opposite of righteousness, the unrighteousness, which is sin. And it says in 1 John 3, 4, sin is transgression of our creator's guidelines and instructions. No, not, oh, I messed up one time and, 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 and all of a sudden I'm a sinner. No. What it is is, oh, I messed up and I don't care I messed up. You see, the Bible says repentance brings refreshing. If you've messed up and you don't make an excuse for it, but you truly repent for it and you desire to do better next time, Yah will hear you because it says he, he hears the cries of the righteous and he detests the cries of the, of the wicked. So we need to cry out to him to build us up to make us stronger, not weaker. We need to study his word day and night. Because you understand this is not just some words on a paper. This is a book that our creator uh, gave us when he set us free from death row that we were on. And Yeshua took our place. He didn't just say, you go now. No, he said, you, you don't go now. You go, you take this book in your hand and you follow me. And you follow me. So how many of you are really following him? Well, uh, a great way to measure it up is uh, uh, your obedience to his word and your obedience to what he's saying. So this is what Psalms 1 is talking about here. And uh, it, it, it's great. Whenever I go out street evangelizing, I just sometimes open my book to it to read it. Uh, hopefully, uh, people uh, will start to realize that uh, there's there's more to uh, to a lot of this than than just words on a paper, and and they'll have a desire to read it often because they know where it's coming from and they meditate it on a day and night, and they don't stand in the counsel of the wicked. So that's Psalms one, folks, and this is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries, dedicated to get on here live some live feed. I don't have the exact time I'll get on this morning. I just hadn't been able to get on, but I got on now. And I want you to hear the word every day. I want you to hear it. And I would love for you to read it and keep reading it when I when I get off the, the air here. 
you keep reading it. If you're watching on the replay, it's a reminder to you that you need to read the word every day. And I was reading Psalms and Proverbs every day and just reading it. Uh, but now I want to start commenting on things and it's going to take a little bit longer. So I figured I'll just do one book at a time, just to encourage you to get into it and to read it. And, uh, and I pray that I did that this evening and I pray that your, your day starts off blessed. And they say the, the last thing you read before going to sleep and the first thing you read in the morning, that's what we remember. So read the word and, and be blessed. And remember, uh, praise, proclaim, uh, and, 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 and pray. And read and repent and submit to our creator. Those are the six things that believers must be doing. Uh, so uh, thank you for listening, everybody. Uh, and put your comments and questions below the video. Please share this with others if you're looking at the replay. Until then, have a great night. And shalom, shalom. Mount of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world, 